Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about how to evaluate variable expressions with integers. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem here, evaluate 3x plus 4y minus 6 when x equals negative 1 and y equals positive 2. My first step is here, I like to rewrite my expression 3x plus a 4y minus a 6. I then need to substitute negative 1 in for my x values and 2 in for my y values. So we start with negative 1, it's going to go right here for the x, and the 2 in for that y. Now when I substitute these in, I like to put parentheses around them. So we have 3 times a negative 1 plus a 4 times the y value, a 2, minus a 6. The parentheses help make sure, well, I have the right stuff in there that, or basically so I don't mess up with some order of operations knowing, hey, this is all substituted in, this x is a negative 1, and this y is a 2. I've seen students make mistakes when they don't put parentheses around it and they mess up with a negative sign somewhere, so just be careful. Well, 3 times a negative 1 is, well, a negative 3, pretty easy. Multiplication here, again, 4 times 2 is an 8, minus a good old 6. Now, I like to, instead of subtracting a 6, adding a negative. That's just my personal preference. You can do what you want. Negative 3 plus 8 plus a negative 6 is all addition here. So we go left to right. Negative 3 plus an 8 here gives me a good old positive 5 plus a negative 6 here. And 5 plus a negative 6 is just a negative 1. It's like 5 minus 6, right? Negative 1 right there. And there we have it. We're given our expression, and we evaluate when x equals negative 1 and 2, and y equals 2, sorry. And we got a negative 1 as our final answer. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.